Good morning! Ooh, that was high. Today I am going to get my hair done and I get so many questions, comments, um, emails, everything about my hair, things that you guys want to know. So I thought today would be perfect because I can take you along with me to the salon and you can see exactly what I'm doing. And I thought I would make this vlog today all about hair. So later I can show you the products I'm using, um, any little tips and tricks that I do for hair. And I thought I would also do a hair Q&A. I've never done a Q&A before, but I think it's going to be really good so that you guys can ask me exactly what you want to know and I can answer. So my makeup is done, my hair will get sorted later, and my outfit today. My outfit today is this very casual t-shirt from Raspola. It's a store in Shibuya 109. I mentioned it in my closet tour. And a cap. I got this at the same shop actually. And then just um, these ripped skinny jeans from H&M. I want to wear something very casual and comfy because I'll be sitting in the salon's chair for a while probably. Here's from the side. So today cut wise, I'm just gonna do a little trim on the end, probably like an inch or two. He's probably gonna kill me because it's getting so, so long, like in my butt crack when I'm in the shower long. That's disgusting, Taylor. Yeah, I think I still wanna grow it longer. I don't know, I don't wanna cut it yet. Like eventually I'm gonna have to it's just like it's so heavy when I put it up in a bun and sometimes it really annoys me And I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna cut it all off But I'm not that annoyed yet. So I'm gonna keep growing it and so um, Basically, I get a trim. I try to get a trim every six weeks I've been lazy lately, and I haven't been to the salon probably in This arm's getting tired probably when did I last do it? I did it before my my last drama in December, January, February, March, April, May. whoa, like five months I haven't done my hair for. And then I also do highlights, but I he does them very naturally. I'll explain everything later when I'm at the salon, but I like it so that I don't have to color my hair for every five, six months. I only color my hair maybe twice a year, which really helps save it for like damage and stuff. Um, and yeah, trimming I try to do every six weeks. I haven't been keeping up that routine lately, but I definitely should. And I really recommend that you do that if you're trying to grow your hair and keep it healthy. Because when I was growing my hair long, that is what I did. Just like a little trim, keep the ends healthy and strong so that it can grow a lot faster and healthier. I think I just said healthy like a zillion times. Anyways, it is time to get going. Hi, Thank you, Gustav. Come <laughs> on. Arigato gozaimasu. This is Yuki-san. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we have two colors there. One is like a darker blonde for the low lights to kind of um, put more at the roots to break up the blondness kind of thing and I always put two colors But usually I'll add a bit more of the light highlights like they he puts in really fine highlights everywhere But this time I'm gonna add less of the um, Lighter color highlights at the top and more at the bottom and this time more of this one at the top and less at the bottom kind of thing for a balayage effect and Yeah, so this is like a really light not really brassy blonde. It's like a what Kind of blonde is that? <laughs> The, the light one is like a more bright blonde, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, so the highlight, low light, like thin highlights and low lights are done. And next we're going to do the balayage on the ends. I'm going to do a treatment today, guys, too. Um, the treatment, what does the treatment do? Makes it more shiny and yeah, yeah. soft and oh, healthy. Moisturized. Yeah, especially because I'm dyeing the ends, which is kind of scary and drying today, so I'm going to do an extra treatment. I'm gonna do that later. Yeah, I'm just gonna like this right now. I'm 
so hungry. <laughs> Did you have a lunch? No. Uh, I do have a cookie. Uh, it's okay. I'll eat it. Hair is done. I love it. Do you like it? Um, it's hard to tell right now because the sun is like going down almost, so you can't really see the color well, like when it's on the sunlight. But basically, yeah, the ends are a bit lighter. I love the color. Looks quite natural and like sun kissed, so that's exactly what I was going for. So I'm really happy with it. And I'm freaking starving right now, so I'm gonna go eat something. Okay, so the menu is a bit complicated for me because I don't eat wheat or meat and there's one of either and almost everything because even their rice has like cereal grains in it. So um, basically I can just order corn soup. So I ordered that and then I asked them and they're gonna try and make a salad for me without wheat or meat, like a vegan salad without the grains rice. So let's see. And then they also have um, gluten-free muffins. So I got one of those for dessert. So that should be good. I'm so hungry. So yeah, let's see what they make me. Actually, the worst Prada is flying over here. Can you guys see it? It's pretty awesome. So even though I'm just eating here alone, I at least have that to watch. Food has arrived. Corn pottage, a vegan pod salad, and edamame. So I just devoured dinner and now I'm having a gluten-free rice muffin. It looks like almonds and walnuts in it. It's a bit sweet, like natural rice, I guess. It's kind of good, but... Mm -hmm. I wish there was something like banana or some kind of fruit in it. I think that would give it more flavor. I really have to rush home to get rosy, so... I'm gonna eat this quickly. Rosie earlier got on my comfy pants first thing that I do when I come home is take off my pants let me know if you are the same but I don't know why the pants just have to come off and I need to put on something comfy at least the pants part that's important come on. okay so I hope you guys don't mind but I'm gonna eat something again because uh, yeah dinner wasn't like enough food I really need more carbs because I didn't eat for like I didn't eat lunch, which was a big mistake, and I should have packed snacks, but my hair took long. I still don't feel like I had enough food, so I'm gonna eat this pesto pasta while I answer your questions. So, I tweeted out this morning, I tweeted Instagram and Facebook out this morning, um, asking you guys, let's see what I wrote. Here's Instagram. I wrote, I'm going to do a hair Q&A today. Ask me your questions all about hair, and I may answer it in today's video. And you guys are insane. There's literally, let's refresh it. There's like 555 comments or questions right now on Instagram. And Twitter has so many and Facebook has so many. So I'm gonna just like, I don't know what to do. I guess the only way I can do this is just like scroll randomly and land on one and answer it. Um, and I'll try and go through them like to see which ones are more or less asked all the time and answer those at least. But yeah, hopefully I get, I'll try and get as many as I can done, but um, yeah, I'm quite tired. Um, yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna go through Twitter first because Twitter is like my favorite social media right now, I guess. I don't know, I feel like I can really talk with you guys more there. I feel like Instagram is kind of, it's kind of mean. I feel like people really hide behind their screens on Instagram and they just like write whatever comment or make fake accounts or whatever and just like write mean things. 
but I feel like Twitter is more like personable and people are kinder there and you can actually have conversations and I can talk with you guys and yeah, I don't know, I just enjoy Twitter the most right now. Although I have the least amount of following on there, so yeah, I really suck on Twitter right now, so please go and follow me and tweet me. Um, I would really love that. Alright, so let's go to Twitter first. Wait, first, let me have a bite of this. Mmm, love pesto. Hopefully I don't get any green things in here. Alright, first question. This is from Crystal, and she says, How do you prevent your hair from damaging? I hope I am on time with my question. You are just on time because that was 13 minutes ago from now and I'm still reading them. So how do I prevent my hair from damaging? Um, first of all, I never, I try to never blow dry my hair. So, well, if I'm working early in the morning, sometimes I can't really get away with that because I need to wash my hair and blow dry and get out the door quick. But um, if I don't have something like a shoe, if it's just a meeting or something, I will usually wash it the night before and I'll let it sort of air dry or I'll sleep with a towel on my pillow to let it air dry. Or if I have something later in the day, then I always make, <laughs> I always make sure to wake up early and shower early enough to just give it time to like air dry through the morning and then like do my makeup and everything else that I have to do while my hair dries. I think air drying it, it has really saved my hair. I've, I've pretty much always done that as long as I can remember. Um, I've really tried not to use too much heat on it, like the dryers and stuff. And then other than that, I find that hair masks work well. I actually use a hair mask instead of um, a hair conditioner every time I shower. I will... I don't put, I put the shampoo over my hair, wash it out, I then I don't use any conditioner, I just put the hair mask from here down and then I'll leave it in for like a while while I do everything else like shaving, um, washing my face, exfoliating, whatever and then I'll wash it out at the end but I'll always leave a little bit extra of the mask there. Um, I just find that it really helps with my hair. And then when I get out I spray my hair with um, this leave-in conditioner from Kerastase I feel like I should go get those products. I'll be right back. Put this here because you're gonna eat that. Okay, I've got everything that I'm using recently. Okay, so hair shampoo and hair conditioner. I, I feel like I'm getting out of your question and I'm taking this a little too far, but I know other people are gonna ask me about like which products I use and stuff, so I'll just get this over with now. Um, and I've already made a video about it, but anyways, I'll show you guys again. I use the Sunflower Color Preserving Shampoo from Kiehl's. I also use their mask, but I'm currently out of it right now, so um, I can't show you it, but they have like the same Sunflower um, mask. That I, that's the mask that I love to use, and I've been using it for so many years, and it's never failed me. And no matter what I try and like, I always end up going back to that one. It's just been my favorite, so. And then um, I always spray my hair after I get out of the shower with this um, Biolage Matrix Advanced Keratin Dose Pro Keratin in Silk Spray. I always spray it with this. It makes it easier to brush through and yeah, it just gives my hair a really nice texture. And I feel like it kind of protects it more like from the heat or anything, any styling that I do afterwards. And then sometimes um, I get a bit of buildup on my scalp, like my scalp just like sometimes won't feel clean no matter how many times I wash it and um, yeah sometimes it can get like that because of the humidity here in Japan and like just having products build up in your head over time so I like to wash it with this Schwarzkopf Schwarzkopf um, sorry my German um, amino cell rebuild hair and scalp deep cleansing shampoo so I find once I wash my scalp with this, it feels so clean and amazing and I find when your hair feels clean and amazing, it just shines better, it grows better, everything's better rather than have things blocking it, like blocking the hair cells from like what they're supposed to be doing. So every now and then I'll use this shampoo to just make sure everything's like clean and balanced. And sometimes when my ends feel a bit dry and damaged, I'll add this to the bottom to kind of just seal them. And this is the Kiehl's Damage Repairing and Rehydrating Leave-In Treatment with Moringa Seed Oil and Hyaluronate and Hyaluronate. 
paraben free for damaged very dry hair so i'll just put a little bit amount and put it on my ends other than that i do not use any oils or any other products whatsoever um that is it it's quite simple let me get some lotion <laughs> All right, Arashi underscore Rice wants to know, hello Taylor, hello. How do you keep your hair so it doesn't look oily? Thanks. Um, I, I don't wash my hair every day. Actually, I even asked my hairstylist today if it's bad to wash your hair every day and he said, yeah, like you don't need to do that. It's good to let the natural oils like just be there. So I usually wash it every other day. Sometimes even every third day, depending on work. If I work, I have to wash it because it has to be clean. If I don't have to work um, and it looks a bit oily, I will just throw it up or I will add some dry shampoo. That works amazing. Um, let me go get that. The dry shampoo I use is this one. Um, I got it when I was in London and it is amazing. So I'll just like spray my head and it instantly like soaks up the oil. Um, without making this part dry so yeah that works good when I just like don't feel like showering but I want to style my hair other than that I think the shampoo you use um, and if I had oily hair I would not put conditioner on my scalp <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I think I ate a little too fast I would not put um, the hair conditioner on my scalp I would just shampoo everything and put the conditioner here down so don't make your scalp like extra oily with the conditioner if that makes sense so try not putting the conditioner on your scalp and hopefully that will make it less oily because you don't really need it there to be honest you have all the natural oils here I don't think you need to add extra conditioner or anything like that just put it here down Brienne Ruth wants to know how long did it take for your hair to grow and do you take supplements for it much love um, so I mentioned in one of my other videos, I have taken Pantagar before. I don't currently take it right now, but um, I did take it before when I was in Hong Kong and I was working a lot, sometimes two, three jobs a day. My hair was getting a lot of heat damage done to it. So um, I do think that helped me from that and it helped it to like stay strong and healthy and grow even more. Um, a lot of models take it there. Um, that's a Brazilian model told me about it and they all take it, especially when they're working in China because yeah, the hair gets really damaged there. So um, that helps. But I currently don't take any supplements right now. I do take a B12, which kind of helps um, because the B vitamin group also help with um, like hair, nails, skin. So I don't know if that kind of helps. Um, but yeah, no like direct hair supplements right now. And how long did it take to grow? Honestly, I've like never really cut my hair. I always just trim it. The shortest I ever cut it was like to here maybe, but that was like a while ago. And like from then on, I've kind of just trimmed it. So it's taken a while, but like today I just cut three, three to four inches off um, to keep it really healthy. And it's like super much more healthy and smooth now. So I kind of just keep doing that. Like I keep trimming three to four inches but then it grows even longer but yeah I don't really know I kind of been like I've kind of had like long hair my whole life one woo's fox eyes wants to know do you have any funny stories about your hair getting caught in something I'm sure there is uh oh um, gum. So in Canada, we have this thing, it's called a drive-in movie theater. So a lot of times, like my family would go to this, we would get on our pajamas, we would get in the back of like, my dad would get like a pickup truck or something, we would get in the back of that and go to that and just get tons of snacks and just watch movies. So there was this one time and sometimes we would go with my parents' friends and then my parents' friends would also bring their kids. So there was this one time, a big group of us was there and one of my parents' friends' sons, I kind of like had a little crush on. So we were all just like watching the movie, eating or whatever, and he was chewing gum and it ended up in my hair. But I was like a super shy kid. I hate confrontation and I still hate confrontations. So like when I found it in my hair, I just like kind of kept it there. I didn't tell anyone, I didn't tell him. And yeah, I still don't know if he like did it on purpose or 
it was just an accident. But that gun was kind of hard to get out later at night because I sat there for so long. All because I thought he was cute and I didn't want to make a scene or like embarrass him or embarrass myself. Stupid girl. Beth Macaroons wants to know, would you ever cut your hair? Oh, and I love you. I love you too, and yes, I definitely would. One day, I think I will. I don't know when. Rebecca Crew wants to know, my hair is stuck at one length, just at the middle of my rib cage. How do I get it to grow further? Also, any volumizing tips? So, um, you want to make sure that you trim it. That's really important. Like, even right now, I was noticing, like, before I got my hair done, I was noticing that my hair was getting, like, really tangled and always, like, I don't know, just looking messy and like it was getting dry at the ends. So always make sure, like before when I was growing it out, I would trim it every six weeks. So like one and a half to two months, I would go get a trim. Even if it's just like an inch or two, it makes such a difference to like have clean, healthy ends so that it can just grow much better. And then eating a good diet that is good for your hair for two. And then um, making sure, make sure your scalp is nice and clean. And don't use the hair dryer, like I said, try to avoid the hair dryer and using a lot of like drying or heat on your hair when you don't have to. And yeah, make sure the ends are really conditioned. You don't have to like wash out all the conditioner, make sure you can leave a bit on there so that they stay moisturized and like sealed. All right, let's move to Instagram. Whoa, where there's like 562 comments now. So I'm just gonna like load all the comments and then I'm just gonna flick through and land on one. Okay, they're all loaded. There's no more load more. I'm just gonna... Okay. What are your tips for growing out your hair so long? This is from baby underscore doll Barbie. How long did it take you to grow it out? I noticed yours is so luxurious and soft and I've been trying to grow my hair out for two years now and it's only past my shoulders a little. I feel like I just answered that question so yeah, um, everything I said before is basically what I do and I always just trim it but I haven't really had a big cut for a long time. Willow underscore pixie wants to know, is that your natural hair color? Do you use extensions and how do you style down daily? Um, my, as you saw today, I do put some highlights and lowlights in my hair. My natural color is like the really dark blonde color. When I was a baby, it was like white blonde, but as I get older, it gets darker. Do you use extensions? No, I never use extensions unless like I'm at a photo shoot and the hairstylist puts extensions in my hair, but usually they don't. But um, me, myself, I never put them in. Okay, this one has nothing to do with hair, but I guess I can answer it. Do dot key Taylor, when did when you lost weight, did you get stretch marks? I'm kind of losing weight and I have light stretch marks on my arm and behind my knees. If you did have any, how did you get rid of them? Or where are they located? Or how did you prevent them from coming? I did get stretch mark stretch marks when I lost a lot of weight. I was a lot bigger before and I have them I have them here on my inner thighs and I have them like here on that like back love handle area and I never got rid of them. I don't think they ever really go away. I don't know if there's a way you can like maybe some cream helps but like honestly I've never even bothered to try cream and like when I get a tan you can see them really really well but if I'm not tanned you kind of can't see them unless you get close to me and even if you do I don't know it's not a big deal it's never really been a big deal for modeling like no one ever said or noticed anything like they can just photoshop them out if they want to to be honest and I don't know, like, they used to bother me, but as I get older, I kind of don't care. It kind of, like, reminds me of a time in the past. Like, it's, like, more like a memory for me or, like, something that I've overcome. And it's made me, like, who I am today. And it's, it's just a memory of, like, what I was and how far I've come. And I don't know, we all have these, like, imperfections and flaws. But, like, every woman, almost every woman has stretch marks or cellulite or will get it one day so you don't really have to worry about it like no one cares about them almost everyone has them and it's just a memory and it's part of who we are so don't worry about them too much happy jinsei wants to know does your hair fall out at all ever since i lost a lot of weight i get clumps of hair which come out every day i'm renourishing my body with food mostly vegan now and i hope this that this will get better 
Um, I've never had a problem with my hair falling out. Um, I've always been interested in nutrition, so I really make sure that I get a balance of all my vitamins and nutrients, even though I don't eat a lot of meat. Basically, I'm going to give you a little tutorial on the main um, nutrients that you need to have healthy and grow your hair. All right, I'm gonna draw this out because it's easier. <laughs> okay, so hair growth has a lot to do with your diet. So if your hair is like stuck at a certain length um, and it's not really growing, it just gets damaging, I th damaged, I think you should look to your diet. One, vitamin C. So vitamin C helps the body to produce collagen and collagen is a type of protein that makes healthy hair, healthy skin, and healthy nails. And it's also an antioxidant. And antioxidants help the free radicals. They help fight the free radicals that are in your body that cause like cell and tissue damage. Another vitamin that is important is your B vitamins. I should tell you, um, things that are high in vitamin C are Broccoli. Can you see this? Oh, maybe you couldn't see me that whole time. Broccoli, oranges, strawberries, kale. There's a lot. Okay, B vitamin. So basically, they play a big role in um, our energy metabolism. So they're important for nerves, muscles, skin, nails, and ha hair. They're pretty much important for like everything in our body, actually. They're like a really important vitamin. This is a water-soluble vitamin. So it's constantly not stored and flushed out of your system. So it's important to always like replenish your B vitamins. And if you don't get enough with food, then it's important to take um, a... Uh, like an actual vitamin. So that's why I take these pills B12 because a lot of the B's are found in meat and if you don't carefully plan you can be deficient and this deficiency occurs in a lot of um, vegetarians and vegans and especially a lot of my family members have this deficiency even though they aren't vegan or vegetarian so I pretty much already take this and it's quite hard to get like an overdose from B12 like it's difficult to have too much of it so I feel like it's I don't know if you feel like you're low obviously get your blood tested and check out to make sure that your levels are okay if you don't eat meat or eggs you can find it in nuts sorry for my messy writing I'm trying to do this fast okay and then also biotin is very important so in Pantagar that pill they have like these vitamins in it so you could technically just take in these vitamins from a more natural source like your food instead of just buying that um, expensive pill so biotin is super important because it contains keratin which is a form of protein that is super important for healthy hair and again it's a water soluble vitamin so it's not stored where you can get biotin is in avocados another good vitamin is niacin which is really good for nourishing your scalp if you don't eat meats um, mushrooms are a good source again and avocados again different grains. You guys can look up all the foods that like give these vitamins and there is a lot more vitamins that are good for your hair like vitamin E, vitamin A. Um, but I feel like these ones play a big role in like healthy hair and scalp. So um, my recommendation if you're vegan or vegetarian especially because a lot of these vitamins come from meats is to make sure you're eating a lot of fruit a lot of fruit and a lot of green vegetables so that you get in um, these vitamins. And then avocados seem to be important. Different seeds and nuts are definitely important. A, a wide variety of grains. Um, and then different antioxidants. Grains like quinoa are good and high in protein too. Just make sure you have a good balance. Make sure you cover everything. If you are low um, in certain things, try to take the multivitamin. Obviously getting it from foods is a lot better because when you take a multivitamin, your body doesn't absorb absorb the, the whole amount. So getting it straight from food is actually a lot better for you. Um, I also recommend you get your blood tested to make sure everything's okay and in balance. I think that that is important for vegetarians or vegans to do it quite regularly just to make sure everything's good. So yeah, I hope I answered your question well. That's the thing about 
um, veganism and vegetarianism is you have to really plan well. You can't just eat. It's easy to be a vegan or whatever and just eat like this. Like eat pasta or rice or bread all the time and vegetables. But when you're just eating this stuff, you're not covering all the stuff that you need to cover. Not only for hair, but like your skin, your body, your cells, your brain, everything as a whole. So make sure you plan well and do your research. I think I've gotten all your questions answered pretty much because everyone's asking similar things. If there's anything that I missed and you do want to know, please ask me in the comment section below and I will try to come back and um, answer as many of you as I can. And this Q&A is over. I really enjoyed that though, so let's do this again. I feel like I want to make more topics and we can have more discussion and like get all cozy like this in our pajamas and like have a little like tay talk, like I could give you guys advice or answer your questions. I don't know, I really like this. So yeah, let's do this more. Let me know in the comments if you agree and if you want to do this more. Like it could be in my vlogs or just like a, a proper Q&A video, I don't know. Okay, bath is on. Well, some of you are asking me like why I don't have a faucet or something. The water actually comes out of there. So I just program it here and I push this to turn it on and I set it at a temperature. So it's going to automatically come out at this temperature. And then it also has something that it can circulate the water and keep it at that temperature. So it's just setting it up now. And then I can actually just leave this on and go in the other room. And then this thing like plays a song throughout my whole house. When the bath is ready, it'll like play a song and then I know it's ready and I just come in here. Anyways, I've never tried this. So I might try this one today, see what it looks like. Cause I've never tried a floating thing. Oh, it like fizzes up. Oh, I think I should have took the little tag off at the bottom. It's like a fizz. I feel like I should get in there with it. Like it'll float around and fizz and make my water smell good. I think that's what it does anyways. Sorry, I just have my clothes drying in here. But anyways, I'm gonna get in here. Look at this size. I don't know if you guys have seen this all day, but I have like another planet growing on my face and it's like half the size it was a few days ago. This has been on my face for like a week, but it was huge. It was one of those huge painful ones. And it's like not painful anymore, it's gone down, but it still looks so big. Let's just look at all this going on. Anyways, all right, I'm just gonna get in this bath and then I'm gonna head to bed after that. So I will say good night here. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'm sorry if you're not really interested in hair. Actually, by now you probably would have exited out of the video if you weren't interested in hair anyways. But yeah, that was my that was what my day was about anyways. And I would love to, I just said anyways so many times. I would love to film more about those small daily things that I do. It's getting really hot in here. All right, I'm gonna say good night. Oh, my battery's dying now too. All right, good night guys. I will see you very soon. Good night.